Hello everybody, the time has come. This video has been so requested and I don't know why I haven't just filmed it and done it already, but this is gonna be my everyday kind of summer makeup. I've been doing this since like February because I just want it to be summer already. This is probably the makeup I'll continue doing throughout summer when I do get ready. This is like post beach, post shower, getting ready for dinner, glowy, light, tanned makeup look. Like it doesn't take me long at all, like maybe 20 minutes tops if I'm taking my time. I just wanna look like bronze and glowy. Right now I'm pale because I haven't gone on vacation yet and it's only April. But I've been pretending it's summer in spirit for the past few months and I've mastered this makeup look and it's just really natural compared to what I used to do. And honestly, it's become my go-to everyday makeup, not even just like natural summer. It's just what I've been doing every day. So you guys have been asking for it on Instagram and TikTok literally every single day. So I'm gonna be doing it now. Starting off, I already put on my moisturizer and SPF. I used this Tula Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen SPF 30. I say this in every makeup video I do, but I'm not a professional. I have no makeup experience. I just do what I think works for me, so. Take that as you will. Also though, this is probably my favorite makeup look I've ever done um, and I have a lot of new good products. So first thing I'm gonna do is my base, which I feel like is so important for this kind of makeup look. And I use the Glossier Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. This stuff is so glowy and amazing. And then I mix it with the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops. So this makes me glowy and this makes me tan. I literally just put a pump on my finger, forehead, finger, cheek, finger, cheek. Maybe I'm feeling a little crazy. Chin. And I put a little drop, a little goes a long way, on each place that I put that serum. And I just blend that in with my fingers. But I just love this base so much, honestly. On like no makeup days, you could just wear that base because those are basically just like um, serums. Do you notice that difference already? How glowy I am? And then it just made me look a little bit like tanned, a little bronzed. I just love it so much. Also, I have like pretty bad breakouts right now. That's unfortunate. Usually I won't use as much concealer than I'm gonna have to use today, but it's fine. Personally, I think this is the most important step of achieving this look. And these are drugstore products, so if you're very cheap, very easy to find. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I get it in my normal skin tone. It's actually a little bit pale for me, a little too pink. And then I also get a tan one. I have both of these, so one's too light, one's too dark. So I can, throughout summer, as I get more tan, keep mixing to get my correct skin tone. But for now, what I do is I take the dark one right now while I'm still pale, and I put that in little dots where I would normally contour. Then I take my beauty blender that I promise is not disgusting and dirty, it's just stained. And I just blend that all in. So this is like not a foundation. I don't know what it is. So it doesn't have any coverage in my opinion. I don't think it does. It's just like a tint kind of. Then I take the light one, put it on the high points and underneath. So that's where I put that, just everywhere. And then again, take the beauty blender and blend. You don't have to be precise with this at all because it doesn't really have coverage. I feel like that is kind of what I do for like foundation, even though it's not foundation at all. Okay, next is concealer, which is basically the only coverage we're gonna get for this whole look. So depending on what you need and what you like, you can go heavier light on this step. I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer and I'm just gonna put that there. I put it where I have redness, dark spots, and my under eye bags. And then I take the Hourglass Concealer Brush and I kind of like dab it in, brush it in. Also, I feel like in the summer when I'm tan, I don't really use concealer or I use a lot less and I'll just like spot coverage just because I feel like my skin is just so much better in the summer. I don't know if it's the ocean or the sun, the happiness, <laughs> but it all does wonders for my skin. Then I'm just gonna go over that with my beauty blender lightly. There. We're concealed. Next step, I take my Tarte Sculpt Tape Contour Wand. I love this thing. It's one of the little applicators that's like this. Mine's in the shade Warm Bronze. And I literally do one dot, one dot, and then like just a little tiny bit there and a little tiny bit there. I kind of keep that close to my hairline and blend it around. Like just look how pretty that is, that color. Same with my nose. I like to just make that line right there to make me look like I have a little button nose. I feel like another key step is I take whatever's left over on my beauty blender from contouring and I put it right here where I normally get a little bit tan. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury blush wand. This is the matte one, but it's the only one I have. I probably would use the glowy one if I had it, but I don't. But I really like this color. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. And I'm just gonna do like 
two dots and same thing blend i blend this like up towards my hairline if i'm feeling a little crazy pull it up onto my forehead put it on the same sides of my nose looks a little sunburnt you know okay very crucial step in this look is highlight which is why i use two liquid highlighters this one would be my favorite but i hate 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 the packaging it's in like a dropper which i don't know if you're supposed to mix it with foundation or what you're supposed to do but then it gets all over the rim so i'm literally just gonna <laughs> this is the soap and glory glow and do it luminous concentrate elixir it's just like such a good liquid highlight it's so pigmented like look it blends so well look at that it looks so natural placement is important i like to put it everywhere that when i look in the sun there's a natural like reflection like look at that i literally look like so healthy and glowy and then i'm gonna go in with the charlotte tilbury beauty light wand in the shade spotlight and i do my nose with it and then a little bit right here and blend with my fingers okay then this is like an optional step that you definitely don't have to do but i love contouring my nose i'm taking the cash beauty contour stick and like a flat brush like this i just take a little bit so it's more of a defined nose contour but still with a liquid product so i'm not looking cakey or anything and then i also take some of that and i put it on my eyelids and I pull it up and out into kind of a v-shape then I'm gonna take the littlest bit of powder I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder and this is the ultra blur and I take one of these little triangle powder puffs put a little bit on like that and focus press it into under my eyes because I crease really bad under my eyes and I normally take a little bit again and I go on the side of my nose because I get oily and then along my upper lip. Then I kind of just take whatever's left on there, go in my T-zone. And then just because I want a little bit more, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Exposed. And I'm adding more blush to my cheeks with a powder blush because I feel like it's kind of lost under all the liquid products. Something I also really love to do is take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. It's like the white one, Cottage Cheese. And I put that in my inner corner because it's super bright. And then I'll also take it and do my Keep It So a little bit. Next, I'll take my Urban Decay All Nighter, but this is the Ultra Glow setting spray. Okay, now eyebrows. I feel like I have very, very dark eyebrows. So to keep a more natural look, I don't like to fill them in that much, but I do have a scar through my eyebrow that I just like to fill in. And I just try to mimic the shape of this eyebrow onto this one because this one obviously doesn't have a scar and this one does so i'm using the morphe definer brow pencil this step probably doesn't apply to you because i'm sure you don't have the same scar as me but <laughs> then my favorite brow gel nyx the brow glue i brush my eyebrows kind of up and out i don't love when they're like straight up but i like the kind of fluffy look i don't know how this is looking in camera i can't really tell but in my mirror i just look like i have literal airbrushed glowy tan skin and i'm obsessed next step is again crucial to me i know it's probably not for everyone i do faux freckles using the lottie london freckle tin in the shade light i've done this for years especially in the summer i just wish i had freckles so bad i only kind of get them in summer so this is just like a little brush and i do little freckles over my nose you just apply some dots like that and then i tap them in and spread them around when i tap them you have to do it kind of quickly or else they'll dry down and be way too dark switch up the size and the shape and the distance between all of them okay my freckles are on i'm obsessed i love them so much now this is a step i don't always do and i'll switch up what i do for it but i also just like really prefer how my eye shape looks when i do use eyeliner so i'll either use a eyeliner this is the nyx epic ink liner in black and you do a little baby wing or i'll just use my eyebrow pencil and do a wing with that because it's a lot more natural looking i'm trying to decide which one i want to do today though but i'll just take my eyebrow pencil close my eye and do like a messy kind of wing with it like this and i just love how it's subtle but makes so much of a difference okay now i'm gonna do my lips quickly the lips are something i change up a lot a lip liner that does stay all day that i've been loving is the nyx line loud lip pencils and i have them in like every shade because i haven't found my perfect natural shade like they're either too pink too orange too light too dark can't find one i love so i've been like mixing them these are super super long lasting but you can't blend them so like as soon as they're on they're basically on so what i normally do is take a darker shade this is the shade trophy life and i just do my cupid's bow with this just like that just because i prefer to have a more rounded upper lip and then i'll try to blend that as much as i can but as you can see it doesn't really move then i take a lighter shade this is in the shade born to hustle i'll kind of go over it to like mute it or like tone it down then it kind of looks like that just my upper lip done it's a little bit 
wonky and uneven. Then I'll take my Holy Grail lip liner. It's literally a little baby. This is the Urban Decay. It's in the shade Uptight, and I'll kind of be a little bit more precise with that. So then that's on, and it's very dark, and I want it to look way more natural, so I'll take a little cotton pad and a little bit of makeup remover. I go over the bottom lip, and then I rub my lips together. And I feel like it dials it down. Just makes it more of my natural... Oh, just kick my tripod. Makes it more of my natural lip shade. Today, I think I'm just gonna <laughs> dial it down, use the Glossier. This used to be clear, but because of my, my lip liner, it kind of like dyed it, but I'm just gonna use that. That's the lips done. Last step, curl my eyelashes. I really need a new eyelash curler. Oh, I can't even read what this is. But do you guys know this brand? Is it Essence? But this is what I use to get volume. And then for length, I use the Lancome Lash. I don't know how to say that. But I use this. Get really close to the lash line. That's the difference already with like barely one coat. So just do that for one coat on both eyes. And then I take the Lancome mascara and I kind of focus it on the outside and just lengthening and getting the tops of my lashes. I feel like this just makes them separate and look a little bit longer. I need to clean off my lid, but oh, my lashes just look so long. And then last step is bottom mascara. I feel like I'm someone who every single time I wear bottom mascara, it somehow ends up down here. But I love the way it looks. I feel like my eyes look uneven without it. So recently I've been using the Glossier Lash Slick because it's a really natural looking mascara. It's really thin. And just putting it close to my lash line towards the outer half of my eye, not even pulling it down on my lashes, just to darken them up to make it look kind of even. And then it looks something like this. And that's my makeup all done. My summer glowy bronze faux freckle makeup. Oh, my battery light just came on. Perfect timing. But yeah, that is my summer makeup routine. The makeup routine I've been doing for the past few months that you guys have been asking me about. So I hope that helped. I know I'm not a makeup artist, but I hope you were able to kind of follow along if you wanted to. I have a few other makeup looks that I do pretty routinely. So if you want to see that, I can maybe do that as well. That's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my makeup routine. I hope you try it out. If you do try it out and you post something you should tag me so i can see thank you so much for watching today's video if you want to follow me on my other social medias they're all linked down below as always and i'll see you in my next video very very soon bye